Hello, uh, this is Aaron Wall from SEO Book, and this is a free SEO video on using deep based search filters to understand how your site's doing in search engines. So, uh, when you search on Google, you know, you normally just search and click enter, but uh, they have an advanced search feature too. What you can do is search for your domain name or your name, something like that, and then go to the date and set, say, past week, and hit enter. And then what they, they do is these are web pages that mention this URL or this string of text in the last week. And this is useful because not everyone that mentions you actually links to you. So this way you still see other sites and pages that are, that are talking about you and can see why they're talking about you. Just as well as putting a URL string in there, I could put something like, like my name. And, and see what other sites are talking about me and, and you can see why people are talking about you too and uh, the nice thing about this is you can compare you know time periods one to another so so right here this is past week or you could do past month in addition to these these things in here you can also um, go through and you'll find in the URL somewhere that there's you see how there's this QDR equal week well, that means one week. If you put a two after the W, now you're looking for the stuff that's been in the last couple of weeks. So these these let you know, you know, these results let you know how your public relations is doing. If people are still talking about you, you can search around for why they're talking about you, and and learn a lot from that sort of stuff. In addition to that, um, you can instead of just searching for the URL string, sometimes you can search for just your site. And when you search for your site, sometimes you'll come across interesting stuff about how your site's being indexed. Like, are parts of it, it or is it getting indexed as quickly as it used to? Are, are the new pages getting indexed? Are portions of your site that are of low value or uh, duplicate pages getting indexed? For example, right here's a profile page for me. Um, and this is my a profile page, but the problem is, is this is actually supposed to be here. So here my user account page is getting indexed on two pages. So that's like a duplicate content issue that I need to get fixed. So and in, in by understanding what, what sections of your site are getting indexed, understanding what sections of your site get indexed, you'll be able to see if if changes have created ways that you know, get stuff indexed that you don't want getting indexed, and that sort of stuff. And, and that's important because as they, they pull back, you know, uh, supplemental results, filters, and, and stuff like that, using the state bait search can still help you understand what's uh, going on with, um, you know, how, how search engines perceive your sites. In addition to these, these date based filters, you can also use them on vertical search engines as well. So, for example, Google has a blog search. And if you want to see who recently mentioned you, you could search for your name in quotes. Um, or you could perhaps type in your URL and they'll show you who's been who's linking to you as well. So these different these different ways just let you know, you know, who's who's linking to you, why they're linking to you, who's talking about you and how your site's doing. Also, um, with the Google blog search you can put a www in there and it'll show you different results than if you didn't and Technorati is another good source too for understanding who's been linking to you so um, that's about it and if you have any questions or comments let me know and see, how, see you soon